what if how you feel is not how you feel? I'll say that again. What if how you feel is not how you feel? Are you confused? <laughs> what do I mean by that? We were talking yesterday about energy and, and energy clearing and um, I just want to sort of expand a little bit more on that. Um, it might be a new concept to some people. Um, so this whole idea about feeling, let's talk about air, the air we breathe. Um, I feel a song coming on, I'm not. Let's talk about the air we breathe. So I'm assuming we're all breathing air, we're all breathing in oxygen. Um, how do you differentiate between the air that you breathe in and the air that somebody else breathes in? You know, do I have so much air here and then the next person has so much air? Where's the line between the air and when we're together in groups or maybe one to one? Where is the cutoff point between my air and your air or their air or his air? Um, there really isn't one. OK, we're all we're all in this big soup, this soup of air that flows back and forth and sometimes you're very close to people and you really don't want to be breathing their air <laughs> or, or what they're breathing out and vice versa so we're kind of all we're all connected we're actually all connected through the air through the oxygen that we breathe okay and we're all using it we're all breathing in breathing out so we're very much connected um so for me that's the same with energy but when i talk about energy we're all very much connected to one extent or the other. So where does your energy end? What is your energy? The scientists tell us that everything has um, everything has energy and you know they can take the photographs and we can, they can see everything emitting an energetic field. Um, so where does my energy end and yours begin? Where does, where does yours end and your families begin? Your partner, your people that you work with? Where where does it end? Where's the boundary? Where's the border? Um, there is none. There, there is none. So we're also in a bit of an energetic soup. We live in this energetic soup, in this energetic world where we're always mixing all the time. And when I talk about energy for people, um, it's really about just understanding that concept. Um, and, and why do we need to understand it? Why is it important? Well, I have... It's kind of that idea of um, if we're all mixing and connecting, then what if sometimes some of what you're feeling isn't your feeling? So feelings are energy, thoughts are energy. We're going to talk about feelings today. Have you ever um, got really sad when someone else was sad? Have you ever got really happy when you're beside somebody who's really happy? Have you got very excited? When you're somebody who's very excited have you got very angry when you're with someone or near someone who's angry even if you don't know them um, or have you gone the opposite maybe somebody's really happy and you're very sad um, somebody's very calm and you're very angry um, and it can be a play off of the energy so we're actually interacting all the time with other people's energies and really it depends on how how sensitive you are and um, how empathic you are how how much you take in that energy you know a lot of people maybe go just through their life and they never it never crosses their mind or they don't think it is an issue and um, for me and um, certainly um i was always very sensitive and um it was only after getting understanding the idea of energy where i realized that a lot of the time in my life i actually took on other people's energy it was like a sponge um so it's that whole thing of, are you sure you're feeling your own feelings? Because a lot of times what you're feeling is not yours. Um, and I understand that this is a very new concept to people. And why is that important? It's important because when we're going through life and you're, you're trying to live your best life and maybe you're doing a bit of personal development or just wanting to be as happy as you can be and um, your personal growth, um, one of the things about that is you have to be really in touch with your emotions and your feelings. That's I certainly believe that. We have to be in touch with our feelings. Um, but what happens if you've taken on a lot of feelings from people that aren't yours? Have you ever considered that? That they're not yours? 
um, because they very may well be. Now you may sometimes um, attract people or be around people who have the similar feeling to yourself. So you're maybe both feeling happy, both feeling excited, both feeling sad. But if you find your mood changing quite a lot, um, and you, again you may not even be aware of this, but if you find your mood changing, um, just being aware that it changes even slightly when you're around people, when you're around, um, when you're in certain circumstances or situations, um, how much in control of your own energy are you really? Um, and how much of your energy do you allow to be affected by other people? You know, if somebody's in a bad mood, does your mood go down? If that's the case, then I would say you need to look at yourself and say, why am I allowing myself to go into that mood? Um, you know, is their energy stronger than mine? Why am I, you know, maybe I'm happy and then I then go into a, a down mood. Um, so what's, what's going on there? And it's all about having this personal, respon personal responsibility for your own energy. Um, I talked the other day about, you know, to live your happiest, healthiest, most joyful, fun, best life. You really need to be aware of your energy. And I just have, I have one wee thing that I want to say to you. Um, one sort of little tip or something for you to think about is if you're feeling, it usually works better with a negative emotion because let's face it, that's what most people are, are trying to get rid of or that's not as fun as the good emotions. Um, if you're feeling something right now that's not so pleasant um, or if you find yourself over the next few days, um, I often find it in the car because I'm not a road rage person but sometimes, sometimes in the car I feel myself almost going to take on another person's energy and it's just one simple thing that you do and all you do is when you're feeling something in particular that you don't like, okay, just take a moment, if you're driving, do not close your eyes, take a moment, take a deep breath and then just ask yourself, this anger or this, whatever this is, this fear or whatever this is that I'm feeling, is this mine? Is this mine? Now you might feel really stupid. <laughs> asking that because you're going of course it's mine I'm feeling it of course it's mine you Egypt what are you talking about um but listen in it's again it's all about listening to your own intuition listen in and or, or listen to your feel your gut do you get a yes or a no do you get a yes or a no is it yours or is it not um because sometimes it's not and sometimes you're literally taking on other people's energy um that's not yours so when you're trying to work on yourself or, or do things for yourself, it's really difficult to do that when you're actually taking on somebody else's stuff. Um, but again, this isn't probably a very mainstream. It's not something that people talk about. But it's just something for you to, be, to consider whenever you're feeling something in particular, um, usually a negative emotion, ask yourself, is this mine? Is this mine? And see if you get a yes or a no. And just, just experiment with it to see um, to see what answer you get um, and if you have any questions you can let me know.